guitars. This, this puppy uh, uh, left me for 32 years. And uh, this is the one that's on that front cover of uh, and play with all the guitar on Frampton Comes Alive. So. And what's even more interesting and bizarre is that when John Siomas uh, had left the band, uh, he was on the live album, uh, my crew came to me one day and uh, said, look, uh, here's John's drums. Um, the green ones, he said, it's on eBay. So, I had already bought the kit for John the first time. And now I bought it for the second time. But it was a lot more expensive than the first time. And then, I got him back and guess Dan's playing those drums. They're still green. So uh, anyway, uh, got a lot of things back. <laughs> and uh, the first, the, when I got this guitar, I call it the Phoenix now because it rose from the ashes. And uh, thank you, sir. Get that man a value. No. People take a value of anyone. Do you take values? Uh, Ambien? <laughs> I don't know anything about drugs anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, so when I got this guitar back, I, um, it was a, it's, it's a little beat up. Um, and uh, I, I took it over to Gibson, and uh, they made it work because it wasn't wasn't really playable at that point. Someone had looked after it, and uh, so uh, when I got it back, we played the very first gig we played after after I got it back was the Beacon Theatre in New York. Beautiful. It's, it's just one of the best. Sound. Like it sounds like this. It's a great sounding room like this. You know? And um, so um, we left. I played. I didn't play the whole night. And then it came to this point, and my guitar tech put it in the middle of the stage on the stand, and then we hit it with spotlights, and the whole crowd stood up <laughs> because they knew what guitar it was, and they knew I just got it back. So anyway. This is the first number I played when I got it back.